Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Steinke from Foot and Ankle Associates of North Texas. And today we'll be discussing the proper way to operate crutches. Now we commonly will have patients use these after an injury, but especially after a surgery, and it's important that you oper these, operate these correctly so you don't injure yourself or anyone else. First and foremost, when fitting yourself for a crutch, there's a couple things you have to adjust. One is the, the place where you apply your hands, and also the length of the device. So if you look at the bottom of a crutch, you can actually see these small numbers that indicate how tall the patient is. Now these aren't perfect, so you still have to fit them according to the height that I'll tell you in a moment. But in this case, I have it set to 5 foot 10 inches, which is a good thing to note since I'm 5'11", yet this is the proper height for me with this particular pair of crutches. So first, what you want to do is after you set those, you want to look at the height of the crutches. So when I'm standing up straight, the crutches are not encroaching into my armpits. They're actually about two finger rests below and the length of the hands, the area where I hold my hands, is actually about the level of my wrist. So that when you hold this standing up, you actually have a slight bend in your elbows. So the simple process of walking with crutches is that we want to first and foremost remember that all of our pressure should be going on our unaffected foot and also on our hands, not into our armpits. So we don't want you to lean way forward like this. We don't want to cause any damage to the nerves in the arms or any pain that you don't need to have. So again, remember, put the, with pressure on the hands, what we're going to do is we're going to progress forward slowly. So we look at my feet. We're going to start first by moving the crutches forward just a, just a, a few feet and then rocking forward slowly. We don't want to leap. We don't want to jump. And you want to take, at first, very small movements. And any time we turn, you want to go very slowly. Okay? And as you get more comfortable with this, you'll be able to take longer strides and, and increase your speed. Another challenge that our patients find when using crutches is how to get up from a chair and also sit down in one. To do that, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to back up slowly into the chair while keeping weight off your affected foot. And you're going to pass the crutches to the same side as the injury. And when putting those, and put those both in that same side, holding with one hand, you can put them up just, just slightly, and you're going to reach backwards with your, your hand on the opposite side of your body for the chair. And when you grab the chair, you're going to use that to slowly lower yourself at the same time using the crutches to take some of the weight off of your, uh, uh, or avoid pressure to your bad foot. When getting up, it's the same process. Both crutches go to that same hand. You're going to use the, the opposite hand to push yourself upwards, and then use the crutches to alleviate pressure in that spot. And when finished, you pass the crutches back to both arms, and then go back on your way. All right, so the next challenge that patients will find is when they're going up or down stairs, it's very difficult to keep pressure off your foot. So there's a very specific way that you do that. First, you'll do just like I just was doing. You're going to put the crutches in one hand, usually the, the, if you can, the same side as the injury. And while holding both of those in the hand, you're going to grasp the railing. And the, the phrase that people will use that helps you remember this is up with the good, down with the bad. So when you have uh, a procedure like this done or an injury, you're always going to start going up the stairs with a good hand. So putting pressure, or good foot, excuse me, you're going to put your hand on the crutches here, one on the, the railing here, you go up with a good foot, and while I'm doing that, I'm lifting the weight off of this foot. Next step is to bring that foot up and then progress with the crutch. You continue to do that all the way up the stairs, obviously trying not to rush. The next challenge is descending stairs. So same, same idea, go to the other side of the stairs. Um, and not every stairway is going to have two railings, so you may have to put the crutches into the other hand and go down this way. But the phrase going down is down with the bad, so you're always going to start with your bad foot. But before you progress down, you'll put the crutches down on the next step, grab them firmly with your hand, make sure you're holding tightly on the railing, and go down with the bad foot while keeping pressure off of it, and then progress the good foot down. And you continue to do that all the way down the staircase. And that's how you ascend or descend a staircase.